huh? It's a big fish, whatever it is. It's a big one. Big fish. Welcome back to another adventure. Super excited today because we're on a new body of water. We're after white bass. My goal today is to do a catch and cook video creekside. So I'm super stoked about that. Uh, one of my favorite uh, multi-species baits is just a grub. And this is an eighth of an ounce little jig head. And it's got the uh, bend in it just to help the fish stay on a little bit better. And I'm actually using a double rig. So I got a pink head on the bottom. I got a chartreuse head on the top. I'm using a money milk salt and pepper style curl tail. The brand of those are this uh, Callens. And uh, that's it right there. Just a real inexpensive bait. Great bait for multiple species. And I have it on my light setup. I got eight pound line on here just in case I hook a walleye that's still staying around. But it's a six six medium fast combo. Just a fun combo to catch smaller species. So we're gonna fight the wind today, but hopefully we'll catch a few white bass that we can do a catch and cook creek side. You know what I'm saying? Well, the wind's picking up. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the intro and uh, I'll meet you upstream. There's a fish. Fish on. Fish on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. All right. My first white bass. Just got my first white bass. He's too small though. There's one. Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. This is a better one. Stay on. Stay on. Another dink. There we go. That's a good one. That might be an eater right there. That might be an eater. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. We'll keep that one and fry this one up. Yeah. Got a big old belly on it too. There we go. Catch and cook, baby. All right, we'll string this one up. And mission's already completed. Now we're just fishing for fun. Let's see if we can upgrade this one. This is a perfect eater size. There's fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. Not sure if it's a white bass or what. It's a good fish, whatever it is. Fish on! Got a stick too with it. I don't know how I'm gonna lip it and the stick, but it's pinned pretty good, so it shouldn't get off. I say that when it's about to. <laughs> oh, bam! Look at that white bass. Oh, here comes the wind. I'm gonna look back and see where I caught that one at. It's probably a school there. That one came on the uh, pink head and the bottom one. Nice little white bass. See how long this one is? Probably a 12, 13, not too long. It's a 13. We'll go ahead and send this one back. I already got lunch. I don't need any more. It's your lucky day, white bass. Not yours. Put that one. But uh, it was a nice one. It was a little bit uh, healthier than this one I got on. But uh, we already got one, and this is perfect size for my lunch today. So we don't need to get greedy. All right, well, I'm gonna try to paddle back up 50 yards where I caught that one at. There's fish. There's fish. That looks like a bass. It's a little bass. Saw the lateral line. Come on, I wanna see you. Don't come up. Oh no, it's just a big white bass. Yeah. <laughs> That's a chunk. This one came off the pink head. Nice, chunky white bass. Look at that gut. That might be a female about to lay some eggs. We'll go ahead and let her go though. She looks like a 14. Thanks for that fun fight on the, some light line. That wind has not let up whatsoever. 
But uh, I've been wearing out the white bass. Uh, I've been catching a lot of them on the pink head. I have caught a few on the chartreuse. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change it up a little bit. I'm gonna throw the jackhammer, the bait I used in the last video, that trailer hook around all these rocks and stuff and see if I can pick off a small mouth or a large mouth. It looks very fishy around here. Fish on. Fish on. It's a big fish, whatever it is. That's a big one. Big fish. What did I just hook into? It's a white bass or? Oh, man, no. It's a walleye. Yes. Yes. Bucket list. Bucket list. Just caught a walleye. A keeper. I've been after these fish for three years. I've uh, came up here and failed so many times. I've only caught one, and that's this one right here. First of all, I just checked the regulations, made sure I was okay. Um, they have to be 14 inches or longer. If they are less than 14 inches, you have to release them immediately. So we're gonna measure this one real quick, and then see, I'm pretty sure it's over 14. This is a nice fish. Would you look at that? My first walleye ever. Period. Boat, kayak, it don't matter. But we gotta make sure this thing is 14 inches or longer in order to keep it. It is 19 inches. Woo! We got ourselves a keeper if I don't lose it. Look how beautiful that fish is. And I've heard these are one of the best tasting fish ever. I don't know. Never had one before. Better than crappie. We'll find out. We're going to strap this one on a stringer because it's the legal length. And we just upgrade our white bass to a walleye, baby. <laughs> All right, a little time check. It's about three o'clock. I'm looking for a good bank out of the wind because I don't want to start a forest fire. So I found this bank over here that's full of just rocks and there's a lot of driftwood up on there, a lot of dry wood. So I think it'd be a good bank to uh, light a fire on. But anyways, after thinking about it, I'm gonna save the walleye because it's massive. It's a 19 inch walleye. There's no way I can eat all that without wasting it here on the creek. So I'm gonna go ahead and since I've had this uh, white bass on the stringer for, you know, two hours, and it's gonna be a lot easier for me to eat the whole thing versus half of it, I'm gonna go ahead and cook the white bass. So anyways, I got an awesome recipe for this white bass. I have some wild rice, olive oil, Greek seasoning, and I'm gonna saute the white bass first, fry it up, and then uh, basically warm up the wild rice in the skillet and stir it all together. Woo! It's gonna be good. I'm hungry too. I actually didn't eat lunch today. So this is my lunch. So if I didn't catch anything, I was gonna starve basically. So anyways, I'm gonna paddle over there and we'll start frying up this white bass. I'm gonna go ahead and get in my front hatch here. All right, inside my front hatch, I have my storage bin. Inside my storage bin, I have my uh, little cutting table. I have my uh, Bigfoot Bushcraft fire starter. I got some olive oil, a utensil to help, uh, you know, cut the fish up and get it in the skillet and flip it and stuff. Got my wild rice, fillet knife, my uh, Greek seasoning, I just brought enough to uh, do this one meal. And most important thing, my frying pan. The 
she's got that fold out handle so anyways let's get that fire rolling and let's get that oil hot Well, I was going to use that uh, cutting board, but this rock is pretty nice. So I'm just going to use this rock to fillet the fish and get my pan on standby to put the meat in the pan. All right, I put the fish out its misery. I banged it on a rock real quick. That way it won't suffer anymore. And uh, we'll get to cutting. Going right along the skin there. And uh, taking off that uh, fillet just like a piece of crappie. All right, now let's go ahead and get our fire started. And uh, thank you for Bigfoot Bushcraft for sending me this awesome product. It's windproof and waterproof, which is great for kayak fishermen or ladies. Because if you take a dive, these things are still gonna light. So first things first, we're gonna get one of these little pink things. We're going to uh, kind of break it in the middle kind of loosen up all that material and what's great after you light one of these it lasts for five minutes it's got a five minute burn time so uh so i just poofed it up kind of in the middle there i'm gonna stick it down in my kindling we're gonna go ahead and get our striker out of our kit by the way i got a discount code down in the description below if you want to try out this product yourself all right here we go now I have never used one of these before. I've been wanting to get one and they hit me up. I'm like, yes, perfect timing. So this is my first time I ever to use it. So I'm kind of curious how many strikes it's going to take me to light this. There it goes. I did it. <laughs> so it probably took me 10 strikes, but that's nothing against this. That's all about me. And I've never done it before. So that's just a testament that this thing is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and dump some oil into my skillet. I used about a tablespoon of olive oil there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the skillet right in the flames and go ahead and get that oil heated up. Boy, that didn't take long for that oil to heat up on that fire like that. go ahead and add some uh, Greek seasoning oh that was a lot that fish is about ready I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, my wild rice so it can start heating up on the other side of that pan all right she's done we're gonna go ahead and stir in our rice kind of mix the seasoning all together make it extra tasty Look how beautiful that is. Just found me an awesome sitting rock. If you look at it, it kind of looks like the state of Arkansas. Pretty cool. All right, should be cooled off by now. The wind is horrible, so sorry about that. Here's our fresh caught fish with wild rice, olive oil, and Greek seasoning. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Mmm, that's good. I can't even tell it's white bass, to tell you the truth. Well, the wind's picking up, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera. Go ahead and put out the fire, then head back downstream. All right, let's get it. About to go through some rapids. I got the walleye safely in my boat, so it wouldn't rip off and I lose it. Here we go! Woo! I'm not sure how well you can hear me, but the wind is howling. Boats are driving by pretty quickly. And uh, it's rough waters. But man, I had an awesome day. I didn't get on a lot of fish. I probably caught about 15 altogether. Uh, the white bass were fun. They're moving up in here. They're not 
fully up in here just yet. Here in a couple more weeks, it's going to be thick, and you'll probably catch one on every cast. But uh, today, you know, I got on a few. Caught that nice, uh, you know, 12, 13 incher to eat and flay up, which tasted amazing. Caught that surprise walleye. Super stoked about that one. Can't wait to uh, flay it up and eat it this evening. And uh, we'll see how well it tastes. I'll probably show you that on another video, just because this one's going to be too long. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed today's uh, creek fishing mission and catch and cook. I know some of y'all love catch and cook videos, and I haven't done one in a while. I'm glad I did, because that fish sure tasted good. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next adventure.